Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Edman in Denmark. Have you ever wondered which mini tripod you should purchase? Today I'm going to talk about a mini tripod which I just purchased during my recent trip to Japan and you might find this video useful depending on your use case. Let's get the intro rolling. Before we get started, let me walk you guys through very quickly what was the mini tripod I used before my trip to Japan. And here it is. Um, it's super lightweight, super small mini tripod that I used with my GoPro before. And you can see that we have this attachment here that actually goes onto my backpack holder. So, you know, it just clips on there and it's very easy to use, especially when you are out hiking. Now, this is going to be good enough if your use case is mainly revolving around action cameras, um, you know, being out there in the outdoors where you need something extremely light and portable. This in fact also extends out a little bit so it gives you the additional little bit of height. However, since I moved to Denmark, I have purchased of course the ZBE 10 and this <laughs> mini tripod cannot uh, hold the weight of the ZVE 10 even with the kit lens, the 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens. So I needed something that's a little bit more robust and hence I bought this, the Ulanzi MT73. So let me just put this here and let me just show you guys the size difference. So when it is collapsed, So when it is collapsed, it's approximately, I would say, about four centimeter longer, or three, maybe five centimeter longer because I do have this extension, but let's say about five centimeter longer, but it is a lot more sturdier and more robust. It's able to hold up to the weight of the ZV-10. So let me just put this one aside and show you guys in terms of the footprint size. So you can, you can see straight away in terms of the base, it is a lot bigger. So in fact, if I use my measuring tape here, I would say that it is about 20, 23, 24 centimeter wide versus my, I mean this mini tripod, which would be about 11 centimeter across. So huge difference. When the base is more than double the size, uh, it makes the whole setup a lot more sturdier. Uh, this one can obviously hold up a lot more in terms of weight. Now, in terms of height, now this is also where the Ulanzi actually have a big edge. So you can see that this is approximately, uh, I would say 23 centimeter uh, in terms of height. And for the Ulanzi, you can actually extend this out quite a lot. <sighs> okay, it's a little bit out of the frame, but if I measure the whole thing, it is about 55 centimeters. So in terms of the weight, it is of course heavier. I would say it's also close to two times the weight of this mini tripod that I have. So that's kind of the basic specs of the MT73. There are some other nice touches with this mini tripod which I really really like. So one of them is of course the legs are locked so you can't actually open them without pressing the, the button in the middle here and this enable you to ensure that the legs don't splay out uh, when this is in your bag which might then damage other gears in your bag. So that's one nice touch. The other nice touch is that this, is, this comes with supporting struts that goes to each leg and this adds another layer of stability to the tripod when it is actually under heavy load. So you can see that even if I push it down, it doesn't move. So another reason why I went for the Ulanzi MT73 is that it comes with a ball head uh, which gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of the angle, the tilt which I didn't have with my mini tripod back there. And it also allows you to tilt the attachment head uh, by 90 degrees in case I want to have a vertical shot. So 
that really adds to the versatility of this tripod mini tripod it also come with a small cold shoe mount that you can rotate depending on your use case and that's going to be very helpful if you want to attach a additional light or even your microphone your wireless microphone for example if you have a a, a gopro on this mini tripod so let's see how it looks like when i have a gopro on this camera for me personally i'm fully into the f38 system so i would just use this one very quickly attach the base plate to the mini tripod and here straight away you can do a few things it's very easy for me to attach this to the mini tripod like this and there you go of course this is going to be a little bit overkill if your use case is going to be for action cameras i mainly use this mini tripod with my zve 10 it's a uh, Again, extremely useful when I'm out vlogging. It gives me that additional reach when I, if I need to do a selfie or even want to do, if I want to do a vlogging style video. And last but not least, this mini tripod uh, with the base also gives me the confidence that my camera is not going to fall over. Of course, this will then depend on your on your camera. I find that this mini tripod along with the ZV-E10 will work very well for most lenses such as this one the 50 mm f1.8 oss lens it's not very heavy this is just under 200 gram this lens is just under 200 gram so combined with the camera we are looking at a setup that's uh, less than 400 gram maybe if you add the microphone but it, it is under half a kg uh, this will work super well with this mini tripod however if you are planning to use a heavier lens I would say that the upper limit would be something like this. So this is the 55 to 210 millimeter. And one of the reasons is of course, the ZV-10 is extremely light. So if you attach a really heavy lens out in the front, so even if you use, if you try to adjust the base plate so that it is a little bit more forward, you will see that you, you, you will experience that the camera will tend to want to tilt downwards and and while you try to, to lock it down with this, uh, with this ball mount, and, and this ball mount is good enough, right? But what happens is I, I notice that if, when I frame something extra, when I frame something very nicely, and I try to lock it down, when I have a very heavy lens such as this 55 to, when I have a heavier lens such as this 55 to 210 millimeter lens, the, even though I have framed it down and I have tightened it down, it will still tend to it will tend to tilt downwards a little bit. So, so that's noticeable enough. So you can imagine if you go for an even heavier lens, such as the 70 to 350 millimeter G lens, a zoom lens for APS-C, that's going to be more of a problem. So do be aware about that. So to summarize, I believe that this mini tripod, the MT-73, it's really value for money. Um, I think for the construction, for the weight and the versatility of this mini tripod, uh, it will fit into most APS-C shooter uh, workflow. Of course, if you are talking about the 6700, um, that's going to be a little bit heavier. So I would say that if you are shooting with the 6400, if you are shooting with the ZV-10, uh, this will match up very nicely with your camera and for most of your lenses, right? So thanks for watching. If you want to find out what are the other camera gears which I've bought from Japan, do check out my previous video. If not, do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.